Hey guys, my name is Kernan. Welcome back to Octane Street. The road here on YouTube that never ends. And today I'm giving you guys my top five things that I absolutely love about my 2014 Hyundai Veloster Turbo. So I already gave you guys the top five things that I hate about this car. And today I figured we should switch it up and give a little bit of praise to this vehicle that I'm actually proud to own. So before I get into this top five, I wanna let you guys know that this is actually the first car that I've ever owned. And I'm also gonna be considering the price of this vehicle when giving my top five things that I love about this car, okay? So keep those two things in mind. And with that being said, let's go ahead and start with number five. So my fifth favorite thing about this vehicle is actually the bolstered seats. They hold you really nicely. And for a car that is sub $15,000 Canadian, you lightly used, uh, the seats that it comes with are actually really, really nice. They're really comfortable for bigger body styles like my own, but they actually hold, they actually do a great job at holding you in around those corners at all kinds of speeds. Now I've tested it myself and they're absolute blast to sit in. And also they actually look pretty neat and cool. They actually got the word turbo written on it. So you can't complain with the bolstered seats, especially for the price of this vehicle. Now, number four on my list of things that I actually love about this vehicle is going to be the three different driving modes that this vehicle actually offers. So you have automatic mode, which is what you know most people drive the car in. You have automatic sports mode, Okay, yes, with an S on the end there. And you have sports mode, manual mode. Okay, so those are your three different driving options. And it actually makes a, di a big difference when you drive it in automatic mode versus automatic sports mode. Because what the car actually does in sport mode is it will extend the gears for you so that it doesn't shift as quickly as it would if you just left it in automatic mode. Okay, so what I mean is if you're in second gear, uh, the car's still in automatic mode, but if you're in second gear and you hammer the pedal, the gas pedal, it's going to keep you in second gear closer to red line and extend the RPMs uh, before actually shifting to make sure that you get optimal power and it keeps you in the power band a lot longer. So it's really, really night and day difference. If you haven't tried it out on your Veloster yet, I highly, highly recommend it. It's, it's a game changer. When I first discovered that it actually goes into sport mode, when you put the shifter to the side, I was, I was ecstatic and it gave me a whole new uh, level of a appreciation for this vehicle so that's why it's number four on my list now the third thing on my list is actually going to be something that is kind of more specific to my model I have the turbo model with the technology package included so that my third thing on this list is going to be technology slash luxuries that this car comes with for this price now what I mean by technology and luxuries is my car has heated seats my car has a heated steering wheel my car has a great GPS system with auxiliary ports and USB ports. So the car comes with a great amount of technology, all that are, that work very, very well. When I put the heated steering wheel on, I could feel it after about two minutes or less on a very, very cold Canada winter day. So things like that help me out a lot. For a lot of cars that you get in this price range that are sporty little cars, they don't really come with, with uh, features like that. So i um, really, really pleased and you know, it's something that helped me a lot of winter mornings. Uh, with this vehicle so super happy that uh, this car has technology like that also the push to start keyless entry like there's just a good amount of technology in these cars and again mine's 2014 so hyundai's been doing these things for quite a while now so huge props to them for the technology side and that's why it makes it in my top three all right so now we're in the top two so my second most favorite thing about my 2014 hyundai veloster turbo is well i said it right there it's the fact that this car comes turbocharged from the factory and not only that but the fact that it makes 18 yes count them 18 pounds of boost with the stock tiny turbo okay so this is a four cylinder engine that's gasoline direct injected and it has a small little sail attached to it that puts out 18 pounds of boost stock okay so that's the reason why this car turbo model and naturally aspirated model have such a huge difference in power and the way that they drive because 18 pounds of boost equates to 60 roughly 65 extra horsepower in this car over the base naturally aspirated model so if you are looking for a veloster and you want to have that little bit of sportiness don't think you're going to get it from a naturally aspirated model you're much better off going with the r spec or the turbo models because that's where you're going to get that little bit of fun that little bit of kick that'll actually get you going to the speeds that you want to go so without a doubt i love turbocharged cars the, the sound that they make when the turbo spools up the the sound they make when they blow off um like 
obviously i haven't done mods to make sure i could hear that more but if you guys know turbochargers you know the amazing sounds that they could do as well as the amazing power gains that could come with it if you decide to for example tune your vehicle or you know add some bolt-ons it, it's just it makes for a lot more potential essentially um so yeah that's what gives this little bad boy over two just over 200 horsepower and 195 pound feet of torque so definitely absolutely love that this car is turbocharged and it's kind of one of the main reasons why i actually bought this vehicle so that's definitely at the number two spot now believe it or not the thing i actually love most about this car is something that i didn't even really consider when buying the car but it's actually the fact that it has a panoramic sunroof so what that means is the whole top of the car could pretty much open up all the way to the back seat almost and just give you a huge open area right above your head it's really great for those summer days or even spring days um and it just allows a lot of you know it, it almost allows a different type of driving style when you have such an open space above your head it almost feels like you're in a convertible without actually losing you know the benefits of your hard top so um that's that's kind of the thing i've learned to love the most about this car i love riding with it just wide open in summer days and even in you know colder days when i want a little bit of breeze inside i just go ahead and prop it up so that uh just the right amount of air is actually coming into the vehicle uh so i don't stifle and die <laughs> so um but yeah, that's my top five things that I absolutely love about this car. If you guys own a Veloster or any car for that fact, could you name me the number one thing that you love most about your car? I'd be really interested to hear it in the comment section right below that like button. And just like that, guys, this video is going to be over. But be sure to hit that subscribe button if you guys want to see more content like this so that you guys could ride shotgun with me in the next video. Till then, see y'all later. Peace. Hush.